If you would only walk away with one thing out of this course, this would be it because frankly, this has saved me so much time since I started doing this. I can't even begin to describe to you how much time this has saved. Here's what I used to do. I would open the subject and start using the, the methods I'll be talking about, the quick selection tool and refine edge and I would start to obsess over every little hair. So I'd be looking at her hair and trying to see all those little hairs and make sure they were all selected and I'd take way too long, I'd zoom in way too far and then one day something suddenly occurred to me and that was I had done all that work, I had obsessed over every little single hair and when I dragged her into the new background I couldn't even see the hair and I realized why was I spending all that time worrying about details that wouldn't even show up in the context of the new background and that's when I realized step one should always be drag the photograph of the person into the new background first before you do anything else so right now I have my background open over here I'm going to take her take my move tool now I have tab documents set up in Photoshop you can also do this in other ways but this is one of the simplest ways just drag wait till it switches images and then let go now clearly she's too big so I'll do free transform commander control T I cannot see the handles for free transform so now I'll press commander control zero for fit on window and that will let me see my handles we'll scale her down to the approximate size we want somewhere around there looks good now one of the cool things that's happened here is even though I'd opened this file separately I opened this file as one of those camera raw smart objects we talked about earlier and even though I now dragged her into this new background she's still a camera raw smart object well she isn't but the layer is you know what I mean so if I double click that means I could use that same method I talked about before I was okay let's adjust the contrast and everything so we do it can do a better job of making a selection with our quick selection tool just get started on this because I'm just trying to show you the basic idea here but really what I'm gonna do is now when I move on to the next step that I want to talk about we will be talking about in a moment or two which is this thing called refine edge here's the difference in fact let me show it to you this way sorry I didn't mean to stop in mid-sentence there but just so you can see the difference let's go back to this one this is just her independent without anyone there if I choose refine edge this dialog box comes up but all I'm looking at it is in the context of this checkerboard transparency so as I get closer and start looking at the detail I'm like, oh, I don't see all those hairs there and I start worrying about it compare that with this this time I'll do refine edge but I have it set here to something called on layers and what that means is right away I'm seeing her in the context of the new background so clearly there's still work to be done but the important point is I'm not worrying so much about every little single detail because I'm seeing her in the context of the new file the other thing I would recommend is it's too easy to zoom in really close like this and try and get all these details don't go too far in and make sure you periodically scale right back and kind of see it in the context of the overall photograph so just to reiterate do this first drag the person onto the new background first before you do any kind of selecting and I think you'll find that in almost every case you'll be saving yourself time because you're not worrying about all those fine little details you're just seeing it in the context you can see well here I still need to fix up that not seeing the real pavement there and so on but it's just so much easier to do this first so in every project we're gonna undertake from now on that's gonna be step one once we do that then the step of refining edge, working with our layer mask and so on, will just be that much easier.